Want to see something cool? Mercury, cadmium, and electricity all wrapped in a delicate glass envelope. That's a great idea, isn't it, bruv? Having this thing in my shop makes me as nervous as a seaside lifeguard with Crohn's disease. Shit like this is how we put the fun in super fun and get kids with flippers. Back when wall candy was crispy and came in the original heavy metal flavors and every welding shop had an asbestos fire blanket and a drop bottom can on the wall, this was used as a voltage standard for lab testing. It's fussy, delicate, and made of concentrated cancer, but for several generations, it was just how they rolled. This is a Weston standard standard cell voltage source so accurate that you have to compensate for temperature. It makes really most sincerely 1.018 volts with about a mouse fart's worth of current behind it. Just the load from a meter measuring it too long and it'll be as dead as Schrodinger's cat in mere minutes. The act of observing disturbs the observed. And that's why I had to buy blackout curtains. Drop it and your floor just became more contaminated than the carpet in the Pee Wee's Playhouse movie theater. We do this now with boring beige boxes of fancy electronics that cost as much as my car, but for a time someone with a brain bigger than my magic wand figured out how to do it with potions and elixirs in a little glass H. This is science, but it looks like witchcraft, and that's pretty cool.